How do you not a napkin is a question I get asked all the time. And it might sound like a silly one, but there are actually a few ways you can do it. If you've been here before and you just want to look at a specific knot again, then you can jump to the timestamp in the description below. Hi, I'm Abby. I'm from the Knotted Napkin Company and we hire out our linens across the UK and Europe. I'm here to hopefully give you some inspiration and some tips for creating your own beautiful tablescapes, whether it's for your wedding or whether it's just for a dinner at home. So why would you knot a napkin? There are a couple reasons. It really does add texture to your table and stops them looking flat. Also, if you are having um, menus, place names or favours, they're a great way to frame the menu on the plate and it just draws your eye to it. And finally, with wedding entrances, they are a really great thing for your guests to do something. So often you'll see photos of the napkin being like twirled around people's heads um, and it just really makes a really fabulous entrance for you. So now the knots that we're going to be looking at. We're going to be looking at a clean angled knot, a bow tie knot, and lastly, and my favourite, it's the one that we always use if we are pre-knotting napkins for an event, is a more of a relaxed knot. So you take the corner closest to you and fold it to the middle. Then you take your furthest away one and meet it in the middle. Then you take the straight edge closest to you, fold it into the centre. The one furthest away into centre again. I'd like to pat them down in between just so you get a cleaner fold. Then you move that, fold it in half so the edges meet. And you should end up with a long straight with these angled edges. Then we take our left hand, or if you're kind of left-handed and you find it easier to cross that way, you can do that as well. Then you cross it over, tuck it under, and then put it through the loop that you've just made. So I always find it a little bit easier to do this bit gently if you've only done this kind of a couple times, because else it can bunch up quite a bit. But you just pull on it, and you can either have it that way, or you can put it this way. You tend to need to kind of just use it a little bit. And that is your knot. So this one is really similar to the last knot, except you're doing it along the short edge rather than at the diagonal. You want to make sure you do exactly the same process where you're folding both sides into the middle rather than just folding it in half twice because you want your seams on the inside so that they're hidden for the actual knot and then we're carrying on doing a second into the middle and then in half again again just placing it crossing it over tucking it under and through the loop that you've just made so this is going to make a lot smaller of a, a knot but i think it looks like a little bow tie hence why i called it that um, and I think it's going to be really good if you're having a side plate rather than it on your main plate, just as a little extra detail. So this is the relaxed knot. It's the one that we use for all of our orders. It has a little bit more kind of fun and playful nature to it. And I think it adds a lot more texture to the table. Um, if you take your napkin, you are going to have to do this in front of you just because it's really hard to do on a table. So if you take it in front of you, give it a little tug, make sure your seams are facing inwards. Then take your right hand and place it down the napkin. If you want your napkin um, to have its knot closer to the top, so it's got a, a longer tail, then you need to go about halfway. If you want it so your knot's in the middle, go much further down. It does look like it's gonna be strange, but trust me, it will be in the middle if you go further down. 
I like it with a smaller top tail, so I'm gonna go to about here. Then flatten your hand, take the top around the back and through your thumb, and then you simply tuck it through and pull. So once you've practiced these a few times, you will get a lot faster. But if you are having a big event where you need to knot a lot of napkins, I would recommend just asking if it's something that your caterer or if you're having a planner would do for you. We ourselves offer a knotting service, so you can just ask us to do it. Or get your family and friends involved, make them do it for you, send them this video, and they'll be well away, they'll be happy. Please do like, follow, and subscribe, and we will see you in the next one. Thank you.